Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. In this video, we are going to play some cruise ship trivia. And your job is to guess what are the names of these ships. Thanks for joining my channel, subscribing to Traveling with Bruce, and giving my videos thumbs ups. Uh, they, I really appreciate that. All right, well, let's get into some uh, cruise ship trivia. And uh, let's hop into the DeLorean, set the flux capacitor back in time a little bit, and go back to yesteryear when, upon retirement, this is what you were going to look forward to. Your your hair is graying, and you're wearing that sport jacket on the deck of the ship. Or how about this picture right here? You won the Second World War a few years ago, and you're now going on these cruises, and look at the food, and the chef is on the deck of the ship. Or how about taking the wife out to the lounge and putting on your tuxedo and she's going to put on her fancy cocktail dress or maybe wear her mink stole and we're going to have some fun. Well, tell me the name of this ship right here. We're going back in time here. This ship, to give you a couple of hints, was originally built in 1960 and she sailed for two different cruise lines, retiring finally in 2003 and she held 2,565 passengers in her last few years of service. If you said the SS Norway, you are correct. How about this one? The most famous cruise ship in the world. Certainly the most famous cruise ship in the United States on national television every week. The ship was on its own comic series built in 71. She sailed from 75 to 02 for Princess Cruise Lines. We're talking about the love boat, the Pacific Princess. Back in the day, 500, 50 feet long, 80 feet wide, 626 passengers. What ship is this? The Poseidon Adventure. They actually used a real ship to make this movie. Here's an image of the ship getting hit by that tidal wave. Uh, you remember the name of this ship? I'll give you some more hints. Uh, she was used as a troop carrier at the end of the Second World War. Britain was delighted in having this ship bring back 5,000 sailors per sailing across the Atlantic after the Second World War. I'm talking about the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary, built in 1936, 1,019 feet long, 118 feet wide, 2,139 regular passengers. She's now in Long Beach. And she's a floating hotel. I've been in her, and it's kind of cool spending a night or two on that ship. Now, here is one of the most famous ships from the 50s. This ship became a Hollywood star. This ship was the star of a movie, and it was also on the I Love Lucy show as well. The movie I'm talking about starred Cary Grant and Deborah Kerr in An Affair to Remember. This ship was plying the Atlantic at the time, across the Atlantic, back in 51 or so. She was uh, built in 1950, 682 feet long, 90 feet wide, 1,000 passengers. And oh, by the way, when you went on shore excursions in the 50s, this is what you dressed like, guys. Suit and tie for you and a beautiful dress for your wife. We're talking about the SS Constitution, one of the most famous ships in the 50s. There's a little trivia for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, how did you do? Uh, thanks for joining me today. Have a great one, everybody. See you next time. Bye for now.